Welcome, everyone. This is John Ryan of SportsMemo.com, and I'm going to bring you the Predictive Playbook Super Bowl 56 Prop Bet Show. But before we get started, I want to give you a quick reminder that I, if you want to access my official NBA and college basketball plays, I'll have them loaded up no later than 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time here on Friday. I'm discounting them to $19 per three-pack or $6.33, which is basically a little bit cheaper than your probably your the cost of your favorite pint of beer, for example. So it's a great deal, and I hope you take advantage of that. More importantly, my Super Bowl is already up. It's a 5% max play. As many of you know, I, I've done very well in Super Bowl uh, max bets, 18-5 and five against the spread for 77% winning. Super Bowl uh, best bets, I'm 3-0 and already in the NFL playoffs with my 5% max best bets. 7-2 and two overall in the NFL playoffs. Plus, if you buy this NFL max bet for $25, you get 10 prop bets consisting of four-player, three alternate line and total, two-player prop parlays, and one cross-sport prop bets that I have already taken to the window and like uh, quite a bit. Of course, pizza money size bets. But nonetheless, there's 10 of them. I like all 10 of them. Plus, you get the 5% max play on the Super Bowl best bet. Also, Super Bowl, the Super Bowl All Access is still going on at sportsmemo.com. You can save yourself $600 and get all access between now and next Super Bowl. At Super Bowl 57, which occurs on February 12th, 2023, you can get the whole package, every single sport I have, for just $699. It saves you $600 off the regular price that is charged on sportsmemo.com. So make sure you get over to my profile, sm.buzz slash jr, and get on board for the next 367 days of action. Comes out to less than $2 a day. That's pretty good. All right, let's get to my show here, and this is going to be one of my fun shows. We have um, you know, the prop bets over at wagertalk.com, that sheet that you can use for your parties. I encourage you to go over there and download it. It's a, it's a great thing because then you can hand it out to your guests if you're hosting a party or take it to your party and hand it out. And you can do you know whatever you want, a dollar to fill it out and then you know do your prizes accordingly. But just have a lot of fun with it. And I think they've done a great job with it. So I'm going to fill out mine of, as if you're part of the the contest. So hopefully I'll be more right than wrong here. Uh, I never expect to win these things at parties, but we're going to have it at ours and uh, it'll be a lot of fun. It really makes the game even more entertaining than it's probably going to be. The first one, as you can see on the Super Bowl 56 party props from wagertalk.com is how long will it take to sing the national anthem? Wow. I'm going to say under two minutes. I think it's going to come in at like 157. And that's my pick, the under. Which team will receive the opening kickoff? I'm going with the Bengals. And by the way, uh, the the last seven Super Bowls where the team won the toss and deferred, lost. I don't know if that means anything, but it is a trend that is pretty darn amazing that that could happen. First play of the game will be a pass. I, I think that will be a pass in the flat. I don't think we'll see anything uh, dramatic downfield, but I do think it's going to be a pass to the flat. Will the game be tied again after 0-0? Zero, zero? Uh, yes, it will. Yes, it will. There are a lot of lead changes in Super Bowls, by the way. That goes into my live in-game betting strategy that I did with uh, Kelly Stewart and Ralph Michaels on the Bet On It show. That's on the YouTube channel at at wagertalk.com on their YouTube channel. So make sure you, you check that out because that's that shows you how I'm going to be betting the Super Bowl. So uh, Matthew Stafford's first pass will be complete. Joe Burrow's first pass will be complete. Which team will score first? You know, I, I haven't even thought about that. Uh, a lot of this stuff doesn't apply to my analytics and my data, but I'm going to go with the Rams. I'm going to say the Rams are going to score first. Which team will commit the game's first accepted penalty? I will go with the Rams again. The jersey of the first player to score a touchdown. Uh, you got to love these. I, uh, wow. Um, it's going to be odd or even. So uh, 
Here, we're gonna flip a coin, people. We're gonna flip a coin for this one. And it came up odds. So we have an odd number. Which team will call a timeout first? I think we should go to the coin. I think we should go to the coin. Up. Oh, that would be, it came up tails, so I'm, I'm gonna make the right side of the column tails and then left side heads, so that would be the bang, no. Uh, Bengals, right. Um, no, which team will call the timeout first? Yes, that is the Bengals, right. How many yards will the game's longest touchdown be? Oh, uh, wow. I, I mean, it's right on the money, which is on an average Super Bowl. You, you do usually approach 40 yards. Uh, I think we should go to the coin. What do you think? I think we should go to the coin. Oh, it's going to be over 42 and a half yards, thanks to the coin. Which team record, which team will record the game's first sack? I think you got to go with the Rams. That defensive front's pretty nasty, right? Let's go with the Rams. How many yards will the game's longest field goal be? I definitely got to go over 47 and a half. And when you listen to the Bet On It show with Ralph and Kelly, you'll notice that I really am um, focused on the field goal prop bets. Um, and I'll give you one as a bonus here. McPherson over seven and a half points that he will account for. So, Basically, two field goals and two extra points or three field goals. That all puts it over the total. You have to lay minus 130. I expect that actually to keep going up. So you probably want to get that on there. If you like the idea, you probably want to get to the window sooner rather than later. Uh, let's move on here. Uh, will there be an onside kick attempt in the game? Hmm. Let's go to the coin. Now the coin is, is the most knowledgeable thing we have right now to do this. Well, the coin says yes. How many total field goals will be made in the game? Well, I kind of just talked about that. I would definitely lean pretty hard over three and a half between the Matt Gay and, and McPherson. They're two, two very good kickers, especially McPherson being the rookie. 11 out of 13 from beyond 50 yards this guy's kicked, and, and he just seems like he is... Ice in his veins. It, really cool stuff. Anyway, let's move on. Um, how many passing yards will Matthew Stafford throw for? Now, these these numbers are right on the money at, again, but I, 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 I'm going to take under in that one. I'm also going to take under with Joe Burrow, 275.5. Uh, you got to think one of them is not going to exceed that. It's, I don't think it's going to be that high scoring a game. So I'm going to go under with both quarterbacks throwing under 275 and a half yards. Will either team score in the first five minutes of the game? Let's go to the coin. Let's go to the coin. Here we go. Uh, the answer is no. Coin knows everything. How many touchdowns will there be in the game? Under six and a half. I'm going to, I'm, I'm taking. I'm going to be accountable for that one, not the coin. Which team will score last? Uh, we've got to go with the coin. It is the Bengals. Which team will win the game? I can't give that one out. That one you're going to have to go over to sm.buzz slash jr and pay the $25. I'm sorry. It helps pay the bills. It helps pay for these shows. But I do hope you take advantage of it. I've done well with them. It doesn't mean that I'm automatically going to win. But I don't think there's many people out there that have a, a record of 18-5 and five against the spread over 23 Super Bowls that I've done. So uh, you know, hopefully this will be 24. And I'm, I am very confident. I wouldn't put it out if it wasn't a 5% max as graded by my models. And you know, it, it, when you see the research, you'll understand that it is a 5% max. So some of the stuff that backs this thing uh, backs this uh, particular bet are off the chart, high percentage analytics that I know you're going to enjoy reading. So um, the tiebreaker total number of combined points. Um, I'm going to I'm going to fill that in after the show, and once the game starts, I'll tweet it. How's that? And I'll even put which team will win the game. That's obviously money line. So as this. The um, sheet shows here, between now and the Super Bowl 56 kickoff, you can use promo code SB50 
to get 50% off one daily package of your choice at both wagertalk.com and sportsmemo.com. So guess what, guys and gals? That means my $25 Super Bowl package just went to $12.50. So if that's not enough reason to go buy it, I don't know what else is. So that'll conclude my fun show here with uh, the prop bets. Uh, I encourage you to get your favorite coin, your lucky coin, and answer the questions the same way I did. If it you know p- appears that you can't decide over or under or whatever the case is, flip the coin. That is the winning way. <laughs> anyway, I've had fun with this. I hope you had fun watching this show. And we'll see you uh, probably on Monday with the NBA triple-double show leading the way. And uh, just remember this weekend, always bet with your head, not over it. We can get ourselves into big trouble with these Super Bowls and all the prop bets. So try to keep it under control the best you can, and you'll, you'll be making a wise decision. And as always, may all the wins be yours. Good luck this Sunday.